guys, it's Sasha, and in today's video, I'm bringing you all part two to the slime video that I did a few videos ago. Now, for the most part, you guys seem to really enjoy that video, and you wanted me to do a part two, but at the same time, I also got lots of constructive criticism telling me what I did wrong or what I should do differently and I appreciate all of you who were trying to help me out. But if you couldn't tell from the video, I was just having fun and messing around and making slime but some of you guys got a little bit upset and were quite offended by the fact that I did not take slime making seriously. And you know, over the past few days, I have really been giving the slime making thing a lot of thought and how dare I not take slime making seriously this is not meant to be taken lightly so today I will be redeeming myself I'm going to be testing out three new slimes that I found online and I will be doing each recipe correct and everything will turn out because I'm not stopping until I get them right so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started The first slime that I'm testing out today is called Diaper Slime. And I know that sounds really weird, but this website claims that it is the fluffiest, squishiest slime, so you know, I couldn't pass that up. <laughs> and the recipe says that inside diapers, there's these crystals, and they help make the slime have a fluffier, squishier texture. And it says to get the crystals out, I need to cut the tops off of the diaper and shake out the crystals into a container. And it says I need exactly four diapers, so I'm going to try this. So I cut off the top of my first diaper and now I'm going to shake them. Oh, I see little crystals falling out, but barely any of them. So then it says, after you have removed the beads, it says to add five cups of water to this to hydrate the crystals. I didn't add a whole five cups because I can always add more water, but I can't take it away once I've added it, once I've added it, and I really don't want to ruin this. Oh wow, it's, act it's happening so fast! They're already turning into, whoa! 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 I need to get my vlog camera and record this. This is, this is, this is, this is weird. Wow. Hey okay, guys, I, I don't even know if you guys can see. See those little beads? And then look, I add in a spoon. What the heck? There was like not even a lot of beads either. Wow. That is so cool. Who knew? Diapers could do such a thing. I didn't. Then it says to add two cups of glue and to stir. And I'm going to start off by adding one cup of glue because I didn't add five cups of water. I don't want to add too much glue. And we have our one cup of glue added. And I'm going to move on to adding liquid starch. And I actually found some at the grocery store this time. So it says that they added the liquid starch half a cup at a time. Yo! But it's still really watery around the edges. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. It's not even going to be half a cup. Like that. It kind of reminds me of Orbeez for some reason. And the concept of it is very interesting how it's made out of the little diaper thing. This was 10 out of 10, a success. And now I'm going to create peep slime. So I have a whole bag of a bunch of different colored peeps right here. And it says you need sleeves of five. And it says the more colors, the merrier. And Looks like someone must have gotten into these peeps, so. Okay, so I have blue, yellow, and then half eaten red, and pink. So the recipe said it looks cooler if you use more colors, but it said you need five of each color if you're gonna do that. So I've got 
five pink, five blue, five yellow, and five red. So I have taken my peeps and separated them into four different bowls. And now I need to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to each bowl. And it's optional to use, you can just use one color, but I decided why not make more than one and have a rainbow peep slime. Boop. Oh my gosh, that was way too much. I'm just gonna assume that that's a tablespoon in itself and add that to that. Okay, so I've officially added a tablespoon of vegetable oil to all of these bowls, and now it's time to put them into the microwave for 30 seconds, and I will be right back. Okay, so all of the bowls have been removed from the microwave, and now I need to add a tablespoon of cornstarch at a time and mush it into the softened peeps. So right now the red one isn't working, and the other ones are, and I'm thinking it's not working because it was open already, so it had, the marshmallows, I noticed they were a little bit harder because they were open to the air for longer. So I noticed they didn't melt like all the other ones did because they were harder. So I don't know if that one will work, but usually it would, like all the other ones are. Then it says continue to knead and stretch and you will have peep slime. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit more. And so far this is working. They said it's not gonna be like normal slime. But the cool thing about this is this slime is edible because all you needed was peeps, cornstarch, and vegetable oil, which are obviously three edible things. So as weird as it sounds, I might just have to try this. Okay, well it's about time I start using my hands. This is exactly what the slime looks like in the picture, so it would be a success. Like, this is slime, guys, it worked, but I guess it's just personal preference. This person, I prefer like blue slime over this. This is it's very, very sticky because it's just straight up melted marshmallows. I think I'm gonna try the slime and I'm really, really nervous. I don't want to. But I was about to say, weirdly enough, it's not that bad. And it actually wasn't that bad. The only thing I'd have to say is that aftertaste is just straight up vegetable oil. And it's, it's, it's not exactly pleasant. Time for the pink slime. So this, this is obviously slime. This is actually so fun. I like this slime. Yay, this was successful. We made another successful slime. So the final slime that I am making is called chocolate slime and no it is not edible it is the opposite of edible because you need school glue liquid starch um, a hot chocolate packet water and then measuring cups and containers so it says to use one cup of school glue again and add this to the bowl now I need a cup of water <gasps> I almost made a big mistake I need to add the chocolate powder now so I'm just gonna add the activator Gosh, it's not looking like the pictures and it's not coming together properly I really really wanted this to work you guys told me to just be patient and just keep kneading it with my hands so I'm taking your advice and I'm doing that. And it's, it's slime, but it's just, it's not dark enough. It's not the chocolatiness that I like expected. But I might add like a little bit more of another chocolate pouch. It's working, it's definitely working. It's so fun. I would definitely call it a success. I think I redeemed myself, I mean, I think I do. I definitely did a lot better because last time not one slime worked. Well, that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe button down below. Well, I really enjoyed making all of these slimes and I love filming these videos and I'm thinking about maybe even doing a part three where I test out even more viral slimes. So leave me some other slime suggestions in the comments. And if you haven't already, definitely go follow me on all of my social media. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Musical.ly, plus a whole bunch more. So make sure to go follow me on everything. Well, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.
deuces.